Come back, ladies and gentlemen. Still with you discussing uh, Egypt's uh, strategy of inaugurating un new universities and upgrading its higher educational system. And in order to know more, we're very much delighted to have with us we're, uh, over the phone now Dr. Hassim Zanetti, CEO of the Arab Japan Center for Training and SDGs. Good day to you, Dr. Hassim. Uh, hello, how are you? Thanks so much for this opportunity to talk uh, and then uh, to have the interview tonight. Hello, Dr. Hassan. It's always a pleasure uh, to be with you here on ALTV International. And uh, you, as a prominent educational expert, how do you see Egypt's new strategy of uh, converting into a new era of uh, the higher educational system, inaugurating a huge number of uh, universities here in Egypt, all over the country, in various uh, districts and various areas and various cities here uh, in Egypt? How do you see that? Yeah, um, first of all, we, uh, I think we should consider the development the challenges that we are facing now, uh, such as the rapid increase of the Egyptian population, education ref reformation, um, the human resource capacity building and infrastructures in our study. Um, it is predicted that the population is um, one of the major challenges that uh, which is expected to reach one, 100, uh, 125 million by the year of uh, 2032. And this is a huge challenge um, that we all Egyptians should uh, pay attention to the expected gap between the population and the community development in all aspects. Um, we also should strive hard to uh, work on the scientific foundation to avoid any gap during the development. Development. Yes. Uh, so I would I would like to cite this opportunity and to highlight the effort of His Excellency uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi to bridge uh, this current gap between the population and the universities. Mm. Um, now we can see the government is taking serious action to have a total of 100, 125 university in 2032. I think so. Um, looking at the at this. Um, the statistic number of the population of Egypt, we, um, we may notice that the population now reaches uh, 1 million and we have only about 72 universities, which means that we need uh, more another 28 universities to bridge the gap between the population, as uh, His Excellency President Afa Tahrir mentioned recently. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Zanetti, so, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, go ahead, yeah. please, sir. Um, so I, I see that um, His Excellency President of Fatah Sisi and the government are, are moving at uh, record speed to achieve the high standard of the priority of the educational development in basic education and also in higher education. Yes. I, um, I would say that uh, I think this is the innovate, innovative area. I could call it the innovative area has started already in Egypt. Mm -hmm. by integrating integration of the Egypt-Japan University for Science and Technology in Borgul Arab mm -hmm. and the King uh, Salman University in Sharm el sheikh mm -hmm. these, news, uh, these new innovation initiatives will definitely provide uh, education at the highest level and link it to the labor market so that a university gr graduate be ensured to have their uh, stable job and good opportunity in the future. Yes. Dr. Zanetti, um, uh, it's very important that you mentioned uh, uh, that those universities mainly aim at um, qualifying the students for, uh, for the market and creating more job opportunities uh, for the students. Yeah. Yes. Uh, in what way can Egypt benefit from the Japanese experience? Because Japan is a leading world country when it comes to education. And uh, Egypt perhaps has so many uh, fields of cooperation uh, with Japan, especially when it comes to education. So in what way can Egypt experience or benefit from the Japanese experience in higher education in particular? Yeah, I, I think the, uh, the cooperation with the Japanese um, higher education, such as the, um, the uh, the cooperation between the uh, Egyptian Egyptian universities and also the uh, e Japan or Egypt Japan uh, Scientific and Technology University in Borgul Arab, mm. it's really um, uh, a good opportunity to open 
the uh, the eyes, our eyes, all the, the the students' eyes for the new generation and for the the new innovation around us. Because as as we may as we may know that Japan is one of the high standard uh, countries that the the um, develop their society through the the higher education and also the through the research and scientific research. Mm-hmm. So we may take the opportunity to learn from the the uh, j- from the Japanese side that it's already exists in Egypt now, not only for the higher education, it's already exists in the basic education through the Minister of Education now and the, the huge project which is taking place now between the Egyptian government and Japanese government for the Japanese Egyptian schools. Mm-hmm. Dr. Hassini Zanetti, CEO of the Arab Japan Center for Training and SDGs, I'd like to thank you very much. Always a pleasure to have you with us here on ALTV International. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We have so much more coming up on this edition of Cairo Local Time right after a short break.